So we've looked at sin, we've looked at cos and we've looked at tan. Now we're going to look at the how we are actually going to put this into action to solve mathematical sums. So in this question, our goal is to solve for x. We've been given this length over here as 10 and we've been given this angle as 30 degrees. We know that we have this new or this new set of tools available called sin, cos and tan. Now in the previous video we said that you have to remember what the different ratios are and we said that you could either use Sokotoa or you could use Oh hell another hour of algebra or whatever you like but we need to remember that sin is the opposite so I'm just going to say O over hypotenuse cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and tan is the opposite over the adjacent so every night before you go to bed just say this to yourself try to remember it because you're going to need it all the way to the end of grade 12. So let's see how this works. So we have the 30 degrees, so we always start off at an angle, and what we're looking for is x, now that is the opposite, and what we have is the adjacent. So we've got to look at something that has opposite and, and adjacent, and so straight away we come to tan, because tan uses opposite and adjacent. So what you now do is you say that the tan of the angle that you were standing at, and that was the 30 degree, it wasn't this angle over here. Then you say equals, and we know that tan is opposite, so that's x, over the adjacent, which is 10. So now the goal of this whole exercise is to try and get x by itself. So if you are comfortable with knowing that you can simply times this 10 up at the top, so you would end up with 10 times by tan 30, you can go ahead and do that. But the more structured approach for those of you who may be struggling a little bit with what to do over here is the following. We can think of this as an equation, and we can see that there is a common denominator of 10. And so this tan 30 is currently over 1, and so we're going to have to multiply this tan 30 at the bottom, we're going to have to times by 10, and what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And so at the top, we're going to end up with 10 tan 30 over 10 equals 2x over 10. And so because it's an equation, we can cancel the denominators. And so what we end up with is 10 tan 30 equals 2x. And so if you want to get faster at this, what you would realize is that this 10 was at the bottom. So when it goes to the other side, it's going to end up going to the top. That's something that I would highly advise you get used to um, doing because it's going to save you a lot of time. So anything that's at the bottom, when you take it to the other side, it's going to end up at the top. Then what you do is you go times this, you go type all of this in on your calculator. So you just type in 10, 10, 30, and that's going to give us an answer of 5.77. So what that means is that this length over here, that x, is ha it has a length of 5.77. Let's try a different one. So now we have this 40 degrees, so we should always start over there. Then we've got this x and we've got this 8. So the x, well, that's the adjacent. The 8, that's the hypotenuse. And so what we have is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we need to go look through these and see which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse and what you would see is that it's cos. So the way to do this mathematically is you would then say that the cos of the angle, so cos of 40, equals to the adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 8. And so remember we saw in this last little example, to get this 8, or to get x by itself, this 8 is going to end up going over there and so we're going to have 8 cos 40 equals 2x and so you type all of that in on the calculator and that's going to give us a value of 6.13 if we round to two decimal places so that means this length over here is 6.13 now in this last example well now we have this 50 degree we have the 5 and we have the x. So we should always start at the angle. You never want to start at the 90 degree, by the way. So we start at the 50 degree and we look at what we have. So this x would be called the opposite because it's opposite of the 50 degree. And the 5 is the hypotenuse. So that's what we have, opposite and hypotenuse. And so that means we're going to use sin. So what you then say is that the sin of 50 is equal to the opposite, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. You then get the x alone by taking this 5 up to the top, and so you're going to have 5 sin 50 
equals to x. And then you just type that in on the calculator and that's going to give you an answer of 3.83.